Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set the default font and color preferences in Canva. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Canva web application, which of course I have done right here. And then the next thing is you're going to check the homepage and definitely from the homepage, go over to the left corner of your screen, just follow the cursor and you're going to see quite a few options here. You see home, you see magic studio project, you see templates, brand and apps. Now I'd like you to know that if you want to set default font and color preferences in Canva, it means you have to subscribe to the premium version or the pro version of Canva. It's only available to pro users pro users and how do you subscribe to that head over to try canva pro and then follow through the processes you'll be good to go so for then but before you get that done of course i can still let you in on the process you know before you before you subscribe all right so that you can have an idea of how it works so head over to brand and open that up so click that and it's going to take you to the brand window so here you have the brand kits okay so scroll the way down and find your brand kits i'd like you to know they can have multiple brand kits all right so this is just one and it has not even been created i can't even create one because like i said it's only available to pro users so from this brand kit head over to colors first thing is the full color right so head over to color and from this color palette you will now be able to you know add new click on this add new button or just click on this edit option right here once you click on this edit option or add new you're going to see um, a drop down menu that shows you a wide array of colors. So just go ahead and select the color and that's just going to be your default. Now the next is fonts, like we're looking at colors and fonts. Okay, so head over to fonts. Here we have title. You can make default title font, default subtitle font, default heading, default subheading, section header, and just all of this. So head over to this edit option. And once you click on this edit option, you're going to see a wide array. <laughs> no, I don't want to check for free. So you're going to see a wide array of options. So choose the one that you want, and that's definitely going to be your default. So once you do that, you're going to see that it's definitely going to reflect in the editor when you are editing your design so this is pretty much how you can set default font and color preference if you want to enhance your um, brand performance or if you want to enhance your brand outlook however this is just where you can go to get that done remember you have to be a pro user now you can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps once you're done be good to go i hope this video marvelously